Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be starting my OC5 collection. I'm going to be setting up my binder for my OC5 collection and um, actually like it's going to be more of an OT4 collection because all of my joy cards are going to stay in my joy binder but I will have the other members cards in this binder. Ever since I got this binder, I don't know why, I just like feel compelled to collect the other members and it's something that I've been considering doing for a while but um, I haven't really pulled the trigger on it so I don't know, I just woke up one day and I was like fuck maybe I should do it and here we are. And so I'm really only planning on collecting OT5 for album photo cards, which I'm hoping won't be too stressful. I'm not going to stress myself out with like trying to get releases as they come out and stuff like that. Like I'm going to take my time and yeah, wish me luck. Um, I actually like did buy a few sets and um, my friend Mal was kind enough to gift me some of her own photo cards from her own collection, which is really nice. And I actually, like, ever since I posted my template of, like, what I want, a lot of you guys have been reaching out to me and, like, saying you'll give me the cards, which is, like, insane. And for anyone who's done that or for anyone who has just, like, sold to me, period, thank you so much. Um, but, yeah, I do have, like, a number of things on the way. Actually, I looked at my list and I really don't have that many things, shockingly. The only thing that is going to be a pain in the ass to get are going to be the Kino cards because... Girl, like, I'm not willing to pay an arm and a leg for those, and I know bitches are gonna want my kidneys for those, so. Um, yeah, so I have this binder here, you guys all know, this is like my old dump binder, and girl, she is past her time, like, she is filled to the brim, and I'm hoping to move all of my red velvet cards, at least, into this binder. And so, I'm just going to be setting up this binder for when the other cards come, my other sets, so. Girl, I feel like I should just start by taking all of these cards out. As you can see, like, I'm so close to completing the sappy set. Um, for the other ones, I'm just really glad that I have Irene. And thank god my finale photo cards are complete because I feel like that would have been a pretty difficult set to complete as well. <laughs> So, I have all of my finale cards right here, and then I have my stack of photo cards. So, first things first, I am going to replace the pages in here just because I'm picky about stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start with however many pages for now, and actually, I guess I can just go ahead and like take all of these cards out as well because I do plan on reorganizing them. So since I'm only planning on doing OT4 in this binder, I'm planning on doing like two eras per page, at least for the ones that only have like one photo card set. For the ones that have like two types, I plan on just giving it like it's a full page and in order to like make the page a little cuter because there is going to be like this center slot, I went ahead and made these placeholders which I just like literally photoshopped. Um, I took like heavy inspiration from Rhea. If you guys haven't checked her out, her like collection before she sold her OT5 collection was like really freaking gorgeous and um, I did like take some tips from her how to make placeholders things. So if y'all want to watch that, go check out her channel Super Ricky. So basically like I thought I was onto something because I had flip printed these like front and back but I realized that the margins aren't like perfect or whatever. Like they're just a little bit off which is like kind of annoying because it literally has the same spacing but honestly I think I might in the future like replace these with better quality ones like I might print them at like a print shop but for now um, since I want to do this video I will just go ahead and sell for these now so I do have one for every single era there are some of them that I'm not sure if I am going to keep um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these real quick thoughts and prayers y'all
Okay, honestly, that took like way longer than I thought it would, but anyways, um, as you guys can see, I think they're so freaking cute. I think my favorite one is the Ricky one though because of all of the colors. But there's Ricky, this one I'm planning to use for my Russian roulette and the velvet page. This one will be ice cream cake and dum dum. Um, Red of Summer, obviously, and then Rev Festival, RBB, Cookie Jar, Finale, Sappy, Bad Boy, Peekaboo, Summer Magic, and Day 2. Because some of them have like three sets of cards, and honestly, like I even might need duplicates of these, but I honestly am going to worry about that later. I usually just win stuff like this, so I might regret it later, but oh well. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. So, I almost have a complete set of ice cream cake. Um, I'm literally just missing Sully, which I already have on the way, actually. But let me just go ahead and find it real quick. Um, and then let me take that out, because... Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go in age order, so... Um, actually, I think I might go like age order here and then um, from youngest to oldest here, if that makes sense, like reverse. So I think that might be cute. So we're going to try it. So I was like originally planning on doing placeholders, but honestly, like. I wanted my placeholders done a really particular way, like I wanted to have the pictures of the actual cards that I needed in black and white, and then like obviously when I would add the card in, like I would take it out and like, I don't know, it's kind of like unlocking your character or whatever, but I just realized honestly it's not even worth it, <laughs> like I feel like that would just be super time consuming and super wasteful as well, so. I honestly tend not to do placeholders, I'm, honestly that might just be me justifying like me being lazy, but oh well. <laughs> um, so there is this page, that is all I have for those cards, and then in here will be Russian Roulette and the Velvet, so this placeholder will go in here. Actually I lied because one of the cards that Mal gifted me was Wendy's The Red, so. so. There we go, yes, girl. Moving on, we have this, and then Mal gifted me. So the velvet first, and then Rush Roulette. So, um, Sulky will go right here, and then for Russian Roulette, who did I pull? Was it Wendy? Girl, I was like looking for this card, and I just realized that I already have it, which is like, <laughs> girl, I need to get my shit together. Um, so, Miss Silgi will go up here, and then Wendy will go right here, Velvet will go there, and then Russian Roulette will go here. Okay, next we have, what comes next? Ricky? Oh my god, it is so freaking cute. So, there is that. Um, okay, so, she gifted me a Ricky card as well. I feel like I owe my life to Mal. <laughs> and actually, I already have the rookie set completed and I realized that because all of my friends actually in the group chat, they were all clowning on me because like, I always kind of clown on rookie era and then they were like, girl, you were clowning on rookie era but that was like the first set that you completed. Like, what's tea? So, whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, but that is so cute. I keep saying that for all of them, but... And then next is Red Summer Era. As you guys can see, like, I tried to make them front and back, but the design flopped. It's, like, slightly off, which is really annoying, um, because if it was gonna be off on the back, like, I would have just rather it be blank anyway, because now... <laughs> You can see that white line, but I will like fix that later. Um, what red summer card do I have? I have Wendy's. So, we have Miss Sulgi here. Um, Sulgi will go up here, as will Wendy's. Okay, that is it for this, I believe. Oh, actually, I have another rookie card because Mal gifted 
this to me as well. I keep mentioning that um, she gives it to me, but I just really can't believe that people would be kind enough to do that for me. So, Sylvie will go up here. Okay, yay, so there's that. Um, Red is Summer, and then we have Peekaboo. I only have one of these, I believe, and it is a Yeri's card. She will go right here. And then we have Bad Boy. See, I'm thinking with the Kino cards, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do I just do, like, the two types of cards and then the Kino, and then, like, for each member, but then the only thing with that is that like then Yeti would be left hanging so I might need to do another page for the Kino, like give it its own page which I kind of hate doing because I feel like it's not wasteful but it's just like taking up space in my binder that like could be used for other cards. I guess I will just focus on the actual like photo cards from the albums because I don't have any of the Kino cards anyway. Um girl, the Kino cards are like gonna be so hard to get but um okay girl I'm actually like super annoyed because I didn't realize that my camera had stopped recording but anyways I like took all the cards out <laughs> so I could do it on camera again but um, I figured I would just like go ahead and show you guys what all of the placeholders look like and then I'll talk more about my thought process again. I just like was not willing to pretend that I didn't put all these placeholders in and like calculate how many pages I needed and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I think where I left off was Bad Boy. I'm going to put Wendy here and it's sad because I don't have any of the other um, Bad Boy cards but I'm super excited because girl once I get these Kino cards like they're going to look so pretty and those cards are like so freaking cute that they do deserve their own page but I'm going to worry about that like when I actually get them. Cookie Jar unfortunately doesn't have any cards so she doesn't get any love. Um, but for Summer Magic, so what I'm planning on doing is that I will go ahead and put the limited cards all together, so like the limited um, like regular photo cards and then the limited transparent ones, and then I will put all of the like regular edition cards on their own page. Um, these are like the duplicates that I have stored in my old binder. But since I already have Joyce cards, I figured I might as well trade these for equivalents. So these won't be making the cut today, but um, let me find them in this stack of cards again. There should be Irene's card somewhere. Okay, yes. Irene's card. Oh my god, this is like one of the freaking cutest Irene cards. Um, so she will go there. And just to like give you guys an idea of what it'll look like, the transparent cards will go here and everyone will be happy. So... There's that for RBB. RBB is like probably one of the best photo card sets. Like it's so freaking cute, but it's also like one of the hardest to collect because I felt like no one was really buying the album to like at least sell photo cards. Like usually the photo card sellers that are on eBay were ghosts around this era. So, um, Sappy. Oh, I almost have a complete set of sappy cards so let me just get them out real quick y'all like i'm so glad you guys can't see like past over here because it's just like messed up pile of photo cards but um so i think what i'll do is irene will go here and then Sulgi, wendy and yeti and then the group card, actually, now that I think about it, would make more sense to go in the middle. So I would need like four of these to go out here, but I'm gonna leave it in the center for now because she looks cute like that. So we're gonna leave her and then on to day one. So um, let me just, you know, figure out which cards are which real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna put all of like the day one cards together and then I will put the um, guidebook and the Kino together, so. This Irene card, <laughs> girl, I feel like Irene is just like, she knows everyone is her bitch, so. She just like gives us the freaking wackiest, like quirkiest. Did I just say wackiest? Like, girl, this ain't no kids show, but um. <laughs> like the just like weirdest photo cards. Um, and then Wendy will go up here for the additional page. I don't have another thing to go in the center, so I'll need to print another one of those. 
But her Kino card will go down here. This truly is like one of the superior photo cards because girl, there is a reason why Irene made this like her Instagram Avi when she first made it. And then actually I'm gonna switch the sleeve out on this because that one's like all folded at the corner. But this Sulgi will go right here. This is probably like one of my favorite Sulgi cards ever. And then we're on to day two. It's basically gonna be the same deal as the day one cards. Kino and guidebook cards together and then limited cards together. So these are the two limited cards that I have. So Irene's shadow card. This is probably one of my favorite Yeti cards, like a stunning queen. The blonde hair was truly a serve. And then for this, I do need another one of these day two um, little center things, but Irene's Kino will go down here. And honestly, like, I hate these collage photo cards, but these selfies of Irene are so cute that, like, really, I don't mind. <laughs> and so, girl, like, like I said, Irene just knows that everyone is her bitch, that she can give us what we don't want, and all of a sudden we'll want it, so her power truly. So for this one, I'm going to put all the finale cards together because there's two per. And then for the finale cards, I'm going to put them all in their own member row. Um, so now the trick is, is like trying to decipher which ones are the scrapbook cards and which ones are the finale cards. There should be two per member. Excuse me, where is that? My green card. Okay, there's more right here, so. This is our first complete page, and I don't know, I don't hate it, I don't love it though. I'll survive, whatever. <laughs> and then here, I'll just go ahead and do Memoros, which sucks is that actually, um, that means Yeti would be on her own page, so I think I'm just gonna do um, Soul Rain, and then I'll do Wenry, but um, okay, let me just sort them out real quick. It either has to go like this, or it has to go across, and then like I put something in the middle. <gasps> Maybe I could do like one of those full image spreads, but I feel like, I don't know, I don't know if I could pull that off. Like, am I smart enough for that girl? I can barely even do two plus two, like, I don't know. I think I might just do the member rows for now. Oh my god, the Glitter Tears card is so freaking cute. This one right here is probably my fave as well. She's giving us a lesbian tease, like. And then Yeti will have to go on her own page. I think I will put her and Wendy together, but I do just need more placeholders, so. When I get more of those, I will go ahead and fix this page like I said before. But since she's getting her own page, we'll go ahead and put her in the center, a center queen. That's what she deserves. Yes, okay. Okay, so this is the binder. I'm really excited to be starting out my OC5 collection, um, but hopefully I don't regret it in the future. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if this was any like the least bit entertaining, but I know a lot of you guys were excited that I was collecting OT5 now, so I figured this was something that you would want to see. And thank you guys so much for watching and peace out. Mm -hmm.